Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be testing the capabilities of cutting and we're going to be cutting 10 mil acrylic. So to start off, off with, I'm just going to design a basic shape for a flower press that I'm making. And it's the overall size for this, the press is 290 mil by 290 mil square. You can see there, I'm drawing this out within light, light burn as well, just to try and keep things simple and show off what you can actually do with light burn. So then, so here I'm drawing 10 millimeter square holes for the bolts which will s help sandwich the whole thing together. I'm going to use the array tool next just to lay them out but we'll show you how that works in a second. So clicking on the array tool there it brings up a separate window and you can see I've already changed the di distance or spacing should I say to 240 um, so I'm just setting up the columns and rows which is two and two because you want one in each corner and then you press OK. Once you're happy with that, you can see there the space and I've set already, like I said, was 240. And then that just makes each square hole in the exact place where you want it. And then you can go up to the top and press the center tool. But just to show you what that does, I'm going to drag these off to the side um, and show you a bit easier. So you can see there by just clicking on that uh, center tool, it aligns everything perfectly and then you just move it to where you want to be. So I'm just roughly estimating where it's going to go and then I'll copy it and paste because I need to, I need a top and a bottom. Now I'm just checking the settings for it. So you can see here that I've got it set at four millimeters a second at 90% power and I'm happy with that because I've done some testings and it seemed to work. So we'll quickly frame the job just to make sure it's in the right location and I'm not going to be wasting any material. So if you're new to the channel, you probably won't know, but this is an Eon Mira 9S and it's an absolute fantastic bit of kit. It's their newest range from Eon and I really suggest checking them out. If you're from the UK, I suggest having a look at the link in my description where you can find the prices and all sorts for the Eon range from the UK distributors. So here you can see it cutting at 4mm a second. It might not look the fastest in the world, but I think, to be fair to the machine and what it's cutting it's pretty decent I've had other lasers in the past and I think it's on about par with what I had it cutting on other Now it's all cut out then, it's a, I, I really enjoy this but it's always so satisfying when you just see it falling out the, the frame of what you've cut and then the internal squares were a little bit stiffer but um, yeah we got them out in the end and once that's done we'll move on to cutting the cardboard. So I had to watch a few YouTube videos um, and tutorials on how flower presses work because I've never used one before and it's, this is a project for my son. He wanted to press some sunflowers. Um, apparently, they are the hardest flowers to press. Who knew? Nothing like throwing myself in at the deep end. Eh? Anyway, so yeah, we get the squares out, and then we'll move on to cutting the cardboard out because there's apparently you need to use cardboard layers as well as the hard stuff, so you don't completely squish the flowers. So now I'm just cutting the cardboard out. I'm just using an old box that I had lying about in the shed and I'm cutting four squares the same size with the same holes as the acrylic so it all sandwiches together nice and neatly. And once that's done, we can move on with assembly. I actually ended up cutting two of these so we had eight sheets in total. So 
So now that I've got all the parts laid out, you can see I've got four washers, four nuts, four bolts, and the eight sheets of cardboard and the two sheets of the 10 mm acrylic, which by the way, has got a really nice um, cut to it. So once we've got all the protective film off, we can move on and we just start, you can see in a second um, why I decided to make them square holes instead of round ones. So looking at the bolts, you see they've got the square bottoms on them. And that basically stops uh, the need for having two spanners or whatever. You can just lock that into position with the square holes in the acrylic. So we'll pop them through and then just start layering it up. So for this bit I decided to recruit my son and that's him cutting these uh, sunflower heads or he's cutting the stalks off the back of them just so they sit a bit better on the press. Uh, it, there's a multitude of ways of doing this according to the, the internet and um, we decided to just cut the, the stalks off at the back of the head. In one of the videos that I watched the woman cut circles out the cardboard so this is what I'm trying to do just now I'm just figuring out what sort of size the hole should be. Um, I used a old cup, plastic cup that we had lying about just to mark the circles out and then cut them out with just a normal Stanley knife. So like I said before, I'm no expert at flower pressing, I've never done this before, it's a total experiment and a wee project for the burn. So yeah, we're totally open to constructive criticism, if anybody's got any suggestions on how to make this process easier, how to do it better, how to get better results, let me know in the comments below please. So you can see the three holes that I cut and then we just moved on to stacking them up. So I've got four layers on the bottom there, four layers of cardboard and then I'm using a layer of kitchen roll because I believe they need absorbent paper to draw out the moisture from the flowers and help them dry out properly without moulding. So this is what I'm doing. Um, I decided to use white paper so there was no ink transfer from the kitchen roll just in case. Just better to be safe than sorry really isn't it? And then we tried to position the sunflowers to line up with the holes, easier said than done, and a bit of faffing about, we got there though. So the hardest part we found was the petals on these were pointing forward rather than out, like a traditional sunflower. I don't know if it's just the type of sunflower we're using or whatever, but we tried to make them come out to the sides a little bit, and then got the, the cardboard on there and started the pressing procedure. So once we're happy with the positioning there, we just do another layer of white paper on top and then kitchen roll on top of that. Now the kitchen roll's on then, it's time to put the cardboard back on and then the top layer of acrylic and then just lock it on to place using the four washers first and then the four nuts to tighten them down. We're just doing them hand tight at the moment and then We'll go in with a spanner to tighten it all up a wee bit. Um, again, with the videos I watched, you don't want to squish them completely to start with. You want to do it gradually, apparently. Um, I don't know why, I can't tell you. Like I say, I'm not an expert. But yeah, this is how we did it. Whether it's correct or not, and whether we'll get the results we're looking for is a different story. So there you have it. Can the laser cut 10 mm acrylic? Yes. Yes, it can. And it does it really well as well. So if you've got any tips, tricks or whatever for pressing flowers, please do leave them in the comments. And again, I hope you've liked this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks again. Cheers.